Hey guys, welcome back to Turok Evolution. In the last part, we were just climbing up that mountain and we made it up to the top. So, in this part right here, it will... They spawn you right behind a T-Rex. Just to, oh, I don't know, slap you in the face. Um, go ahead and use your grenades right here. It'll take either two or three. I've had times when it's three and times when it's two. So I don't really know how many you really have to use. So, yeah, go ahead and kill the T-Rex with grenades very quick. And then, um, snipe out these two snipers right here. And, what? Why do they always fall? I want to blow their heads off. Okay, there's the pistol. Good. So, get your pistol and kill these two guys. Kill this one quickly, because then that guy will still be in the water. And then if you shoot him while he's in the water still, you know, his movement speed will be really... I mean, like, the water really slows you down a lot. So, he'll be a lot less mobile, and he'll be easier to kill. Anyway, approach the water, and that wall will blow up, and then just start shooting. Okay, right, that's one. And that's two. Awesome. All right, and if you come right down in here, in this little crack, you can get, uh, pistol bullets. Anyway, um, come right over here and shoot this guy. And then boom, off with your leg. And then one right behind here. Sniper. Anyway, um, get your tech bow out for this part. Um, where is it? Come on. Thank you. Alright, now zoom in with regular arrows first. First, you want to snipe this sniper. Alright, there you go. And now switch to explosive arrows. And dang it, I missed. Aim for the rope of the bridge, because then you can kill both guys at once. Boom. No, no. Uh-uh. Ah, no. Oh, come on. I always get those guys. And then just go ahead and snipe that sniper up there. Poison arrows will do the trick. Is he going to vomit off the side? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I wonder what the heck is catching it. That's awesome. And then he just falls off. Wow, that is a crappy death. First, you get shot by poison arrows and you vomit out your intestines. And then you fall off and explode. Um, watch out right here because this area really blends in well. And I've fallen off that many, many times. And if you fall, you won't survive. Trust me, you won't. Anyway, come right around here and there's going to be a spaceship type thingy flies around, and it'll fly up to you, um, and just start shooting explosive arrows at it, and you'll take it down pretty quickly. Anyway, now just continue down this little ledge. Crap, I did not want to get that. Anyway, um, there's going to be a ton of enemies right here, and then just go ahead and use explosive- Whoa! Truck Holy, what the heck? What the Ugh. Again with that. Ugh. Anyway, um, that is like the most enemies I've ever seen grouped together. I really should have used a grenade, like, right then. Yeah, awesome. I wonder how many were there. I mean, seriously, you guys saw all of them, right? That was, like, every enemy in here, and I just got them all with one explosive arrow. There's no what? There's none left. What the heck? Anyway, as you just saw at that little ledge that you jumped down, you get the shotgun. Now, I'm going to show you the two ways that you can go. One way you can go is down here. This one is more recommended because obviously you're wanting you you're gonna want to get the shotgun, but uh, I'm just gonna go down there and get the shotgun shells. If you go down there, you have to watch uh, walk the whole length of the river, but you can still go this way too. Uh, hold on, let me jump from where I got the shotgun. That'll be safer. Um, come on. Anyway, uh, come right over here and then jump. Hold on. Shotgun, okay. Now, uh, walk off right there, and you'll take no damage at all. Although, you will just barely get on. And then, um, come right in here, you get two quivers of explosive arrows and a large med kit. And then you get grenades and another large med kit. So, it really just depends on what you want at the time. If you want explosive arrows or shotgun shells. And you're not really missing much. I mean, it's like, the other path is right here, so you can really just come right back up and grab it. So, I'd recommend taking both ways, actually. And not to mention you can clear out the river completely. Anyway, just keep on going through the river. And 
then just keep shooting enemies as you go. Try to save your shotgun ammo. I mean, I know I'm kind of not doing that, but I just don't want to take the time to shoot these guys with a pistol. Because, you know, it's just, it's not as kick awesome as the shotgun. Okay, here's another edition of questioning video game logic that I must include in, you know, at least all my playthroughs. How the heck did something this big and huge get in this little area? And here, I mean, okay, wait, what was that? Okay. Oh, hey, it's health. Um, right here, this path is not high enough. There's a big arch that's not high enough for him to fit under. Plus, it's not wide enough. And this other path right over here isn't wide enough either. So how the heck did he get in here? And yeah, I guess he could have fallen, but isn't it sort of like the point of having a huge... Dang it, come on. I mean, if you have such a long neck, don't you think you'd be able to see the, uh, giant cliff in front of you? It doesn't matter how fast you're running. If you can see that high and far above yourself, then it's you're, there's no way you'd miss that. <laughs> and anyway, go ahead and get, um... You know what? I'm going to use the bow with explosive arrows for this part. Because I've actually never done that, and I want to see how it works out. And, um... It's actually working pretty freaking well. Um, the, the, dang it. <laughs> These guys will roll rocks down on top of you that'll damage you pretty bad if you get hit by them. So you'll want to watch out for that. And boom. And those, the green guys, if they have shotguns, they'll drop shotgun shells. So if you need those, just go ahead and pick them up. Hey, let's get this med kit. Why not just get one more point of health, you know? Alright, so uh, stop running right about there. If you keep running... Uh, you'll get hit by the rocks. Trust me, I know. Again, bad experiences. Anyway, as you run past here, these two ships will fly past. You can either hang back and just avoid their fire, which is what I've done in previous occasions, but I've taken to this new method of doing the... doing the... Dang it! Why can I not talk? This new method of doing things. Get on this gun or the other one. Both guns work for this. And shoot down the little transport jet. Now that'll all that will do two things. One, it'll stop its obvious. Ugh! Come on, die already! What the heck? My R button is not working. Aha! Fall to your death. Anyway, um, one, I can't talk, and two, I just can't barely shoot because my freaking wireless controller isn't registering. Right, and then kill this sniper that's walking back and forth for no discernible reason. And then let's continue. Now there's apparently going to be a lot of guys that run out of here. Boom, die. I want to know how that does not blow his head off. Or like all of his limbs. Wouldn't that make more sense than just making him fall back? Anyway, I'll jump right down here. You're going to be risking your life to do this. Although I don't really know if that's worth doing. Because it's really just 20 shotgun shells. But the next big cliff secret area thingy is indeed worth the effort. And the danger. Trust me. So you can kill those guys if you want, or kill them from behind a little bit later. Uh, grab this med kit if you need it. Come right down here. And jump. Right there. And already, in the third, I mean fourth level, we get the rocket launcher. Now this is like the most epic rocket launcher. What the heck was that? You guys saw that, right? It was like a huge glitch. It's like one... It's like the whole view reversed. Anyway, um... We're at the end of the level now, so we did an entire part of this chapter. This is like the longest chapter part ever. So I guess I'll just see you in the next part where we continue into, you know, the next part. So I'll see you then.